Hi friends, if you like my videos, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. So in this video, I am going to explain to you about cell lines. So how the cell lines are cultured and what is meant by this cell lines. Cell line is a permanently established cell culture that will get reproduced or else it will get divided or else we can also name it as you can uh, proliferated when it is placed in a fresh nutrient medium. So normally a cell line is nothing but firstly what you are going to do is that you are going to extract stem cells from a particular tissue. For example if you take a bone and you have to extract the stem cells regarding that bone and once you uh, obtain that stem cells you should culture that and once you culture it then uh, cell lines will be obtained but the obtaining of the cell lines occurs only when there is a presence of the nutrient medium so uh, nutrient medium plays a major and vital role where this nutrient medium helps the cells to get reproduced or else to get divided where one cell will get divided to two and two will get divided four four will get produced uh, you know eight so you know the cell division process right and that cell division process occurs by using this nutrient medium to form cell lines so this is one of the important role uh, which, which will be placed by this nutrient medium so nutrient medium consists of many vitamins uh, like you, you know it consists of many nutrients like carbohydrates proteins vitamins growth factors antibiotics peptides like this there are many type of nutrients which will be present in this medium which is called as a nutrient medium which is mainly supplied to the cells in such a way that the cells will undergo reproduction or as division or as proliferation to form the cell lines so the total procedure will be explained to you and one more important thing which you have to remember in these cell lines is that the which type of cells are used majorly in these cell lines stem cells will be used so what are the stem cells stem cells are nothing but just now i have said you the stem cells will be extracted from the tissues and normally the stem cells will be of two types embryonic stem cells as well as the adult stem cells you can choose any of the stem cells for the formation of these cell lines and normally um, many people will choose embryonic stem cells for the proper uh, preparation of this cell lines only because Many numerous number of cell lines can be produced only by using embryonic stem cells. But if you use adult stem cells, only few cell lines will be produced, right? And enough, we can form several cell lines, linkages, but they can be similar or distinct. So you can understand this point later after the explanation of the procedure. So once if, 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 once if I explain you the procedure, then you can understand this point. So now let us discuss about the procedure, how the cell lines can be cultured. So now let us discuss about the procedure of the formation of cell line. So in the first step, what you are going to do is that you are going to select a organ or else you are going to select any tissue, tissue or organ, uh, nothing but same. So here, if for example, if you take like bone or as any muscle and from the tissue, you are going to extract stem cells. You are going to extract the stem cells. So numerous number of stem cells will be obtained from that particular tissue. And now these stem cells will be placed in the nutrient media. See here. Firstly, you are going to take a petri plate and in that petri plate, you are going to add the nutrient media. So, these dotted like structures which I have drawn are nothing but the nutrient media. So, what is the major function of this nutrient medium which I have said you? It mainly helps the particular type of cell to undergo proliferation or else to undergo division to form the cell lines. I have said you, right? So, in this way, you are going to take a petri plate and in that petri plate, you are going to take the nutrient medium. And now, I have said you numerous number of stem cells will be obtained from the tissue. And from this numerous number of stem cells, you are going to choose a particular only one stem cell which has high characteristics or has high uh, properties and that can be examined under the presence of the microscope. So particular type of stem cell will be chosen and then it will be placed in this petri plate which consists of the nutrient medium, right? And now you are going to do incubate, you are going to incubate it. And after incubation, what will happen is that the cell will undergo division. So how the cell undergoes division because of the presence of the nutrient medium. So this cell, the chosen stem cell will use as this nutrient medium which is present in the pretty plate and by using that nutrient medium it undergoes proliferation. That's nothing but the cell division and once the cell division occurs then it forms like this. And now this is called as primary culture. Primary culture, remember this word primary culture. Right? And here this process can be done by rapid cell division by using this nutrient medium which I have said you. And here the nutrient medium will be absent. Why? Because this stem cell has been used, used this total nutrient medium for the division process. Right? So as it used the total nutrient medium, here the nutrient medium will be absent. Because this stem cell has been already used this nutrient medium. So the nutrient medium will get completed. So here there will be absence of the nutrient medium. That's only the reason I didn't draw this daughter like structures here. Okay, so now coming to the next point. See, from this primary culture, you are going to select a particular type of only one cell. 
only one stem cell you are going to select here you can take any type of stem cell here you can take this one or this one this one or any type of stem cell but you are going to select only one stem cell from this total culture so now what you are going to do with that selected cell of our selected stem cell so now you are going to select one stem cell from the total culture right and you are going to uh, place it aside and now on the other hand what you are going to do is that you are going to take another petri plate another petri plate and in that petri plate you are going to add again nutrient medium these red color structures which I have drawn are nothing but the nutrient medium but same nutrient medium you are going to add so what are the contents which are present in the nutrient medium I have said you right carbohydrates proteins vitamins growth factors antibiotics peptides all of these are the nutrients which are present in the nutrient medium so that particular type of nutrient will be present here and you are going to add this nutrient medium in this petri plate and now what you are going to do is that you have selected one of the cell from the primary culture right now you are going to place that stem cell in this petri plate which consists of the nutrient medium and now again you are going to subculture it you are going to subculture it that's nothing but you are going to incubate it and now what happens is that here primary cell line will be obtained primary cell line not primary cell culture here the primary cell line will be obtained right so how this process occurs by the rapid cell division because here uh, this cell which has been selected or which has been placed in this nutrient medium will use as the total nutrients which are present in the medium in such a way that it undergoes the cell division or as cell proliferation such that the increase in the quantity of the cells occur increase in the number of the cells occurs and now this is called as a primary cell line right primary cell line and now what you are going to do again here is that again same process you are going to do where you are going to select one of the stem cell from this total culture or sorry total this cell line you are going to select one of the desired stem cell and now that particular stem cell you are going to take you are going to extract from the cell line and on the other hand what you are going to do you are going to take another petri plate and again you are going to add the nutrient medium and you are going to place that selected cell from the primary cell line so selected stem cell will be extracted right from this primary cell line and that will be placed in this new petri plate which consists of the nutrient medium and now this cell line sorry sorry this cell which is present in this culture medium will use as this total nutrient in such a way that rapid cell division occurs and forms secondary cell line so now this will be your secondary cell line so what is primary cell line this is primary cell line and now here secondary cell line will be obtained and now you are going to repeat the process again and in the same way you are going to obtain the tertiary cell line so what is the process i have said you right you are going to select again a desired cell from this secondary cell line and now you are going to take another new petri plate you are going to add the another fresh nutrient medium and now you are going to place this cell which has been selected from the secondary cell line and now you are going to do rapid cell division you are not going to do anything you are just incubated and the cell division occurs in such a way that the tertiary cell line will be obtained and now quaternary cell line will be obtained in that way n number of cell lines will be obtained right n number of cell lines will be obtained so in this way you can form the cell lines this is the method which is mainly present behind the formation of the cell lines right so now let us see how many types of cell lines are present right so there are two types of cell lines they are finite cell lines and second one is continuous cell lines so first let us discuss about the finite cell lines if the cells usually divide only a limited number of times before losing their ability to proliferate these cell lines are called as finite cell lines these finite cell lines can divide only for 20 to 100 times so if you see in this definition the cell normally normally if you uh, if you see in my previous explanation in this normally this how the cell lines will be obtained by cell division process right so if that cell division occurs only for limited number of times only for limited number of times then uh, these cell lines are called as finite cell lines so how why this only limited number of cell lines can be obtained here because the cells will lose their ability to proliferate which means that the cells will lose their ability to get divide so once it loses its ability then it can divide only for particular number of times only for limited number of times so what are those how many how many times these cell lines can be divided the cells can be divided for to form the cell lines it can divide only for 20 to 100 times that's nothing but only 20 to 100 cell lines can be obtained by, from this finite cell lines for example if you take human cells the cell division which can occur here is only 50 to 100 times and if you take example of murine cells only 30 to 50 times of cell division occurs in these murine cells that's nothing but only 30 to 50 cell lines can be obtained here 50 to 100 is, uh, you know cell lines can be obtained but the maximum limit of this finite cell lines is the 100 times division 
only 100 cell lines can be obtained from this finite cell. This is the maximum number of finite cell lines. And now coming to the continuous cell lines, here the cell lines are also called as immortal cells. So when the finite cell line undergoes transformation and then they will have the ability to proliferate continuously or else indefinitely or called as continuous cell lines. So now you are going to select one of the cell from the finite cell line and that will get modified or else it will get transformed. So how the transformation occurs or else how the modification occurs? The modification or transformation occurs by using some chemicals. So some of the chemical treatment will be given to that particular cell which has been chosen from that finite cell lines and then it will get cultured to form the uh, all of the cell lines but it can divide continuously it will get divided continuously here the maximum limit is 100 i have said you right here there will be no limit it can divide continuously so hence these cell lines are called as continuous cell lines where these cell lines are also called as immortal cells the cells which are present to form the cell lines are called nothing but they are called as immortal cells and here it consists of infinite lifespans Inf infinite lifespan is nothing but the senescence is not present in this continuous cells continuous cell lines Senescence is nothing but the death ability. The death ability is not present for the cells. Whereas if you see the in the finite cell lines, after the division of 100 times, if the neutron medium is not present properly or else if the conditions, uh, you know, culture conditions are not there properly, then it will lead to death. Here, there is no need of their uh, uh, requirabilities. Here, the cells can divide continuously. And here, the lifespan is infinite where the senescence is not present. And the production of important pharmaceutical like vaccines and hormones can be done by using these continuous cell lines. So these are the two major advantages. So what is that? It mainly used for a preparation of vaccines and hormones for the production of these vaccines as well as the hormones and they can be cloned. Cloning is nothing but it is one of the important technique which is mainly used in the RDNA technology field for the formation of these vaccines only. Vaccines and hormones like that. So this is about continuous cell lines. So if you like my video, just do like and subscribe. And if you like my explanation, subscribe my channel for further videos. And if you want notes regarding this topic, it will be provided in the WhatsApp group and the invite link of that WhatsApp group will be given in the description box. You can use that link by joining WhatsApp group. Thank you for watching this video.